Okay, so out on, on the Amiga update. Uh, since we last looked at a build running on hardware, it's, I would say, probably twice as fast now as it was before. So still a lot of work to be done, but we're getting there. Okay, so this is one of the stage five routes. Reasonable amount of scenery going on here, you know, there's stuff over the road layer, there's rocks either side of the road. Um, it's relatively well populated. So, you know, on a scene like this, really still the, the chunk of plane is eating up most of the CPU time. The sprites, as expected, you know, they're, they're expensive to do. The road is getting quicker and quicker. The logic, I think this is about 75% now of the game logic that's gonna be in the game up and running, because most of the game logic in Outrun's handling the road, it's handling sprite zooming, Actually, the stuff, you know, the, for the gameplay is going to be really, really quick. That's, there's hardly anything there. So I've got most of that up and running and it's looking pretty good. Uh, so I'm not too worried that the logic's going to go up very much. I think the real savings that we're, we're going to make, potentially on the, if there's a faster way of doing Chunky to Plane, I don't know. I, it feels like I pulled a very optimized routine, but I'm still shocked it's so slow. I'm actually surprised that the routines that I've coded for the road and the sprites are as fast as they are, all things considered. So yeah, that's that's interesting. And here, of course, you've got like, I've even got like the shadows working. So you can see here, the shadows correctly, these are sprites essentially. And what they do is change the underlying uh, colors of the road layer. And they're all working correctly. In fact, drawing a shadow is actually faster than drawing a Drawing a sprite for reasons that won't make well, I'll probably go into those reasons in a, in a video at some point in the future when we get further with this thing. But yeah, yeah, there's still lots of optimizations for you, maybe you can see it's running, it's running, um, and as a proof of concept, I think, I think we're getting to a, to a good place. Yeah, and this is one reason why pre caching sprites would be kind of difficult because everything in Outrun just scales so big, and I've even actually slightly done an optimization where we don't scale as large as the arcade original did just to just to gain back a bit of speed but yeah there's a serious amount of scaling that goes on in this game so um, yeah 